morning. <laughs> How are we all doing? <sighs> Who's with us this morning? It was lovely to see you all posting and supporting each other and getting to know each other. Um, awesome when we can uh, relate to each other as friends and you know really helps us to move ahead. Hey Mandy, nice to see you there. <laughs> I apologize if I appear to be um, lifting my nose or snobbing anybody but my glasses <laughs> require me to lift my head to read. So um, yeah just looks like you're here on your own at the moment Mandy. I've got a couple of others I think that have been hanging around just waiting to um, for me to come on live so I expect they'll be here any tick. But wanted to congratulate you all on yesterday. Wow, sounds like you all had a reasonably good day. How are you doing Mandy? Where's your joy level right now? All good? <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. And your commitment's high? Okay, well I've decided today I'm not really going to give you... Hello Norlin! <laughs> I'm not going to give you any more procedures today because really I want you to focus on choosing joy. Um, it does take a little bit of time as Mandy said getting there. It takes a little bit of time to get into the habit of choosing joy. You know of choosing to be happy. And to give you something else to do now means that would take away from what we spoke about yesterday, from actually choosing joy. So it's important that you continue to choose joy and to choose it again and again and again and to keep choosing happy because it's through choosing it that we're creating new subconscious habits and beliefs that are going to serve us. So to change our tack now and head in a different direction would be counterproductive. So I um, did a little bit of research yesterday just to get another take or <laughs> to get any take on happiness and just see what some of the people that I like to follow who have been my biggest teachers have to say about happiness. And I found one from Seth, you know, he's the channeled entity through Jane Roberts. I've also channeled Seth and um, I might even, you know, connect with him at some point during this course and just uh, get some updates on what I found on the internet that he has to say about it. But I'm just going to read what I found. And this came from the nature of personal happiness, which is the nature of personal reality, sorry, which is um, one of Jane Roberts's books. So this is what Seth said. I have a few remarks to make and they are not new and they are not profound. They are very simple. But your happiness is not dependent upon events. It is not dependent upon youth. It is not dependent upon upon what seems to happen to you. Now happiness can be experienced in a very simple manner and it is so simple that often it escapes you because you try too hard. Now happiness comes from feeling within yourself the wonder and the joy that is within yourself and there is no other way in any world of experiencing happiness. You cannot expect a lover to give it to you you cannot expect a child to give it to you. You cannot expect events to give it to you. It's yours by right if you claim it. And if you do not claim it, or if you turn your back on it, then it seems that you must look for it in others, or that others are always happier than you. But this is not the case. So 
that's all I could find on happiness from Seth. Um, it's mentioned several times in his books. He actually mentioned that when we come into happiness, we've actually moved ourselves into a state of grace. Now, a state of grace is actually living in alignment with our true core frequencies, actually being in alignment with our higher self. So, you know, if we move into alignment through happiness, we're aligning with grace. We're aligning with all that is. We're aligning with our true self. And that's where we open ourselves to our full power, to the magic of all that we are. Now, we're not victims. And I touched on this yesterday. You know, we are in control of our mind. You know, we've we've gotten to the stage over the generations of humanity to believe that what our mind tells us is true <laughs> and that's absolute crap <laughs> you know we think what we think and we attract what we attract by our vibration so you know but but what we think is only a construct of you know where we've been in the past it's not truth unless we <laughs> want to make it our truth and why would we make something that's not serving us our truth? So it's really important to remember that we're the creator of our thoughts. It's not the other way around. Our thoughts will create our life, but we are the initiator of the thoughts. So it's up to us to choose what we want to think. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I choose to be happy. <laughs> I choose to be happy. And, you know, the benefits of choosing to be happy are huge but the first one <laughs> the most important is that it feels good so who doesn't want to feel good you know everything we do in life we do because we want to feel good you know we're in a relationship why did we get into the relationship because it felt good you know we wanted to feel good from it you know we've had kids for the same reason you know we wanted to experience being a family and having kids and we did it because it would feel good you know we eat the food because it tastes good and it makes us feel good we listen to music because it makes us feel good we don't do anything with the intention of making us feel bad you know that would be a very sad state of affairs but we tend to listen to our thoughts and you know when they're running from past and, and out of fear they don't have the outcome generally that we want them to have so we really must concentrate and allow ourselves to choose our thoughts and to keep coming back you know use the elastic on your wrist and cut all of those negative emotions before they really get any stronger hold on us before they really get any stronger um, wiring in our brain and commit to being happy so we're not a victim and we're not a victim to anything, ever, 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 ever. And if we can start being happy, we'll start to realise that because we start to see in our lives changes that prove that to us. You know, I'm seeing <laughs> almost instantly, you know, my intuition has gone through the roof lately and things that I'm seeing or hearing or noticing, you know, are obvious sometimes within seconds. Other things are taking a bit longer for me to get into alignment with, but, you know, we've got to start somewhere. And if we can see what's happening around us and acknowledge that we did that, I did that, you know, <laughs> I did that, whether it's good, bad or otherwise, I did that. And when we can start claiming ownership, then we can start changing it. If we don't believe we created it, then we've got no control over it. So choose happy and choose to notice what's going on. And, you know, as I said, if we've got thoughts or feelings that aren't serving us, <laughs> I did that, I chose that. But I, know I choose happy now. I choose happy, you know. We don't have to stay in those vibrations any longer then it takes us to realise that it's not serving us and that we can choose differently. 
Now, in my um, explorations yesterday around happiness, I found um, some information on pleasure. Now, pleasure and happiness, we would think, are almost the same, but they're completely different. Pleasure releases dopamine in the body. Now, dopamine is a feel-good um, substance, hormone. However, dopamine is related to motivational or, or um, from, from like craving things. Dopamine is something that <laughs> the TV advertisers use all the time. You know, if you do this, this is the result you'll get. So, you know, it's kind of luring us towards doing something. It's the hit we get after we do something that that is fun, you know. So dopamine isn't necessarily a bad chemical, but it comes with an ulterior motive. So it's not pure, you know, and dopamine is, is cravings, it's, it's attachment, it's, um, I guess, wherever we've got any addictions, dopamine's behind it. So, you know, dopamine's great, it's a feel-good thing, but we don't want to get addicted to it. So, you know, pleasure isn't quite as pure as what happiness is. With happiness, the body releases serotonin. Now, serotonin is the magic chemical. <laughs> serotonin is, um, yeah, the feelings of well-being, but it's also the growth factor in the body. It's what um, is released into healing. You know, it's what makes our skin scab up really quickly. It's youthing. It's restoration. It's, you know, and not just in the skin, but in the whole body. It works in the brain. It, it promotes better, more accurate thinking, um, more clarity, um, you know, and, and as I said, you think, who doesn't want to look younger? So we could laugh ourselves, you know, back 10 years. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? I'd love to take 10 years off my appearance. Although, um, yeah, I laugh a lot. I think I've got a lot of laugh lines, so that's my excuse for the wrinkles anyway. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's really important to realize that a lot of things that we consider happiness is actually pleasure. And I'm not saying you shouldn't please yourself, you shouldn't do things that are great, that you enjoy, because we're meant to follow our hearts, we're meant to live in those higher frequencies of joy and happiness and pleasure. You know, there's nothing wrong with dopamine, as long as we're not looking to the outside environment for our pleasure. And, you know, most pleasure does come from the outside environment and that's all backwards. You know, we don't rely on what's happening around us to give us our happiness. Happiness comes from within, it comes from the heart and it's about choosing it and, and being committed enough to ourselves to continue to choose it. We've got to make it our number one focus. We came here to be happy. And that brought me around to something else. You know, I was looking through my books yesterday, as I said, and I overlooked conversations with God. And just before I came on here this morning, I thought, oh, I should have a look in conversations with God and just see what Neil Donald Walsh has to say about happiness. And I couldn't find any quick references, but I had a bookmark in the, um, in the book where I had been reading it. It's just a piece of paper. But on it, I've written a statement. So I know that I was meant to go there this morning. And I'm pretty sure it's an Abraham statement. But this is what it says. We did not come here as historians or as regurgitators to grovel in contrast. We came here as creators. Yes, from easy contrast, we sift and sort we make preferences and manifest through joy. Life is supposed to be fun. <laughs> so, how's that? <laughs> I, I knew I was meant to um, find something awesome for you this morning. But, um, 
yeah, I've got a couple of other little quotes here that kind of jumped out at me and I will post these in the group, but this one was from Abraham Lincoln. Folks are usually about as happy as they make their minds up to be. All great people knew this. Happiness is what you think, what you say, what you do, and when all of these are in harmony. And that was Mahatma Gandhi. It isn't what you have, or who you are, or where you are, or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It's what you think about it. <laughs> that was Dale Carne Carnegie from um, How to Win Friends and Influence People. So, you know, we have control <laughs> and we have choice. And we've got to exercise that choice. And we've got to choose what we want to be active in our lives. So I choose happy. <laughs> Go into your day and choose happy too. So have a beautiful day, um, Mandy and Norlin and anybody else that's going to be watching this as a replay. Thank you for being here to support me, to support me live um, and all of you on the replay as well. I'll probably um, not be on at 8 tomorrow morning. I have to take my car in for a service in the morning. So it will be a bit later. Um, I might even do maybe 11 a.m. my time. So it'll be three hours later. Um, I'm hoping that might suit some of our US friends. And um, maybe you too, Norlin and I will catch you all tomorrow but remember stay happy choose happy be happy continue with your elastic band on your wrist if you need to and yeah keep keep checking in on the group keep checking in on yourself you know no matter how happy we are we can be happier so up level yourself and have a wonderful day Bye for now.